so children we are in the last segment of this chapter and it is nothing but it is electronic configuration so you know from your previous class 9th and 10th up to some extent that electronic configuration is nothing but the distribution of electrons in different orbitals is called as electronic configuration so it is defined as the distribution distribution of electrons the distribution of electrons in different orbitals different orbitals in an atom or inside an atom and so you know the rules we can write electronic configuration only by certain guidelines so this is the definition now it can be written only by the rules as per the different different principles rules are there you know about the of bow rule of bow principle you know holds you know holds rule you know poly exclusion poly exclusion principle so these are some of the important guidelines and why we use the tools you can ask why they are required it is because they provide us guidelines and what are the guidelines guidelines are the increasing energies or energy level diagrams or energy have to be taken to consideration the orbital having lowest energy will get electron first followed by the higher orbital so this is there similarly this was the above point holds rule the orbitals are assigned electrons first in the orbital having lowest value of n plus l and if the two second clause of this if the two orbitals have same value of n plus l then the orbital having a uh, lowest number of l the value of principal quantum number is lowest will get it on first then coming to poly exclusion principle no two electrons have same set of all the four quantum numbers are same so this is there and these are the guidelines or these are the deciding factors for writing the electronic configuration now how to write down so children the basic guideline is of bow principle and you have to keep in mind this sequence one is is written first one is 2s 2p 3s so these are in the increasing order this sequence has to be learned they have to be remembered and we'll see from the you know how bow series this is the one point other point is the maximum electrons maximum electrons assigned assigned to an orbital maximum electrons assigned to an orbital what are the maximum electrons which can be given so s s orbitals have maximum of two electrons minimum can be one similarly p p has six electrons d have ten electrons and f have four electrons these are the maximum electrons which can be assigned 
Why it is so? It is decided by magnetic quantum number. So here, M. I am writing the value of M. So here, 2. It is 1 orientation. This is 1 orientation. And 1 electron is clockwise, other is anticlockwise. Now, P. The value of M is equal to, you know, 3. Px, Py, and Pj. So, 3 orientation means the 6 electrons. B, D, you know, B have what? M is equal to 12 plus 1. So, it is there. So, D will have 5. 1, 2, 3, and 2, 5. So, here it is there. And we assign electrons like this. So, there are the 10 electrons. Now, coming to F. So, F will have 7. F will have 7 orientations. Like this. So, here 2, 2, 3. Like this. So, we assign the electrons in this manner. Now, children, moving forward, these are the certain fixed norms. And see the pairing of electrons governed by Hohn's rule. Now, coming back to here. So, after 2p, there is 3s. And, you know, after 3s, uh, there is, you know, 3p. There is 3p. The energy is more in case of 3p. So, 3p is uh, written there. Then there is the 4s, then there is the 3d and so on. So energy increases. So increasing, increasing energies. Energies, they increase like this. Now coming to writing portion, how to write down? So we will start the simplest atom. It is hydrogen and hydrogen is 1. See very carefully. So, what to write down? So, it is 1s. Electron is 1, so it will be 1. It will never be 2. 2 will be only when the electrons are 2. Here, there is only 1 electron. Now, coming to helium. See here, helium 2. And helium, it will be 1s 2. So, we write like this. Coming to Lithium, lithium 3, 1s, 2, now here 2, now then coming to 2s1. So there is the progression in the assigning of electrons. So this number, of atomic number will be sum of the number of electrons. Now children moving forward, now coming to carbon, just a slightly jump. So carbon, atomic number 6. 1s2, now it will be 2s, 2s2, then coming to 2p, so we write down 2p, 2, or we may write down 1s2, 2s2, 2p x1, 2p y1, and 2p z0, this is the way we write down. Then coming to, you know, nitrogen 7. 1s2, 2s2, 2p3, 2p3. So 2p3, it will be written as, you know, 1s2, 2p, uh, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, and 2pz1. Here, children, this is the right one. This is the right one. If you write here uh, 2p x2, 2p y0, 2p y1, and 2p z0. So this will be wrong. This will be wrong. Why? Because there will be the violation of Hohn's rule. So this is very important to know. What is Hohn's rule? That according to Hohn's rule, the pairing of electrons to the degenerate orbitals 
does not take place until all are fully filled. Now coming to next element, it is oxygen. A. So one is two, two is two, and here we write to be four. Two to four plus four is equal to eight. And here we may write down the two p x that two p x two, two p y one, and two p z one. So here, if we write two p x two, two p y two, two p z zero, so this will be wrong because there will be violation of Hund's rule. Now coming to fluorine, fluorine nine. So one is two, two is two, and two p five. So like this. Then coming to neon, neon ten. One is two, two is two, and two p six. Now see children, this is the K cell, this is the L cell, and this is the you know this is the L cell, and the next will be in case of it will be M. So here there will be two A. So two plus six is equal to eight. The concept of two eight eight I am getting. So this is there. Now coming to next children, we have sodium. So sodium atomic number is eleven. So one s two, two s two, two p six and three s one. So it is k, it is l and it is m. So this is k, l and m. So here n is the last order. This is the valence. Valence cell is incomplete. This valence cell is incomplete. Coming to magnesium, twelve, one s two, two s two, two p six, and three s. Then aluminium, aluminium thirteen. One s two, two s two, two p six, three s one. So see two, four, sixteen, and one. You know, uh, here two, twelve. So four, six, ten, two, twelve. One is there. So it will be what? It will go to three p. So the electrons are filled in this one. Now children. I am going to explain next. See calcium, calcium twenty. So it will be one is two, two is two, two is six, and three is two. So count, and there will be three p. So two, four, sixteen, or two, twelve, and plus no six. So this number has to be taken. So it will be four, six, ten, two, twelve, six, eighteen. So two are there. So after three p, there is four s. So it will be four s two. So see here, this is k, this is l, and this is m. So here m is incomplete. So this is there. The children. After calcium, it comes the D block elements or transition elements, and the there is some exceptional configuration. And see how scandium, scandium twenty one. So here it is one s two, two s two, two p six, three s two, three p six, and here three d one. And here there is four s two, four six ten two twelve six eighteen two twenty. Here three D is written first children. D comes first. D is having less, you know, energy than four s. So this is the concept. The three D has actual actual practice. Three D is written first. So like this, and we keep on. Are moving like this, and so the electrons are assigned uh, in this manner. And so, if you take the case of some more elements, you know, like scandium, we have written here. If you take the case of titanium, titanium twenty-two, 
so it will be like this so here it will be shading 2 and here it will be 4s2 so in this manner there is the progressive filling of electron now coming to next example vanadium 20 this vanadium after cation there is vanadium 23 so it will be same here there will be 3d 3 and here there will be 4s2 coming to chromium 24 there so it will be 3d 4 and 4s2 but children this is wrong this is exceptional configuration in case of chromium it is exceptional configuration and why it is so because to provide the extra stability one it comes from the forest one it comes from forest it comes to 3d and so it becomes 3d5 and forest one so this is the then the exceptional configuration this configuration is exceptional configuration so as to provide extra stability to chromium metal now see children here manganese manganese 25 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6. Here there will be 4s2 and it becomes 3d5. So we write or it is written, you know, 3d5 here, 3d5 and 4s2. We can write either 4s2 or 3, both are same, but actually. Uh, the 3D has less energy. Now coming to iron. Iron 26, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, here 3d6 and 4s2. Now coming to cobalt. Cobalt again the same. Here there will be 3d7, 4s2. Then coming to nickel. Nickel. You know 3d 8 and 1st now children comes the copper now copper 29 copper atomic number 29 so again it is very close to chromium it has the exceptional configuration and so copper will have like this copper it will have 3d you know uh, it should be 3d 9 but it is not, it is 3D 10 and 4S1. One turn from the 4S goes to 3D to provide extra stability. So this configuration is also exceptional, similar to chromium. Now coming to last zinc. This is, you know, here it is 3D 10 and here there is 4S2. So here the alters are complete and so this is there. So we have to see like this now children we are in the last segment and it is exceptional configuration exceptional electronic configuration like you now chromium chromium 24 you know it has what it has 3d uh, 5 and for s1 it is in the valence cell and this copper 29 it has 3d 10 and 4s1 so these are said to be exceptional configuration so exceptional configuration is to provide the extra stability so there are the two reasons why they have exceptional configuration so reason is to provide to provide extra stability to provide extra stability to the element Express stability to the element is provided. But why? See, one electron from this goes to 3D. Instead, it should have been 3D4. Here, it should have been 3D9. But here, one electron goes to 3D10. Here, goes to 3D5. So, this is stability. Now, we'll see the reason behind it. Now, the extra stability can be explained in terms of number one. Symmetrical distribution, symmetrical distribution of electrons 
in 3d file as compared to 3d four now see here 3d this is 3d five one electron one electron one electron one and one then coming to 3d four this is 3d four one two three and four so it is having less stability it is less symmetrical so it has less stability why because it is unsymmetrical it is more stability it is having more stability so this is one point now children second point second condition is the exchange energy exchange energy so exchange energy is the energy released when the electrons exchange their energy see how we have 3d5 so in 3d5 just i am going to draw here so here there is one condition so if we see the exchange of electrons one exchange two exchange three exchange and four exchange so here there are how many exchanges four exchanges why they exchange they exchange their positions to provide stability now coming to 3d 4 3d 4 and here we have this So see the cons, four cons, and the exchanges. You can see the exchange number of exchanges. Number of exchanges are going to be less. So one exchange, two exchanges, and three exchanges. How many? Three exchanges. So the exchanges are three. So here four exchanges means here more energy. More energy release. So more energy release means more stability. Here less energy, less energy release. So when the energy is less release, what will happen? Here in this case there will be instability. So this is all about the atomic configuration or end of this chapter.